flying into Wrangell, Alaska. Looking at the islands out there. Wrangell Island down below us. You know, when you get to town, it feels kind of civilized. But when you're up here looking out, the words that come to mind are isolated, desolate, wild, wilder than anything I've ever seen, that's for sure. You know, I didn't know if this hunt would ever happen. You know, there's work and all the other responsibilities of life. Finally, I told myself, you've got to make this happen. You've got to put together a plan. So that's what I did. And I'm hoping I can get out there and bring something home. Looks like we're about to land here. My plan is to grab my gear, and get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow morning, get my guide and get out there. This is something else. This is a map of Wrangell Island on the wall. It's got all the topography and everything. It's getting pretty dark out wonder what time it is. Seems like it's kind of early. 3.30 in the afternoon. Plenty of time to watch hunting videos. Got a bear right up here. I'm up. I've had my coffee and breakfast and I'm just gonna wander out and look around. I don't have my guide, but I'm gonna poke around a little bit. Is that bear shit? Yeah, so I'm going to look around a little bit. I see something up between those two trees. Not sure how many yards out it is. I have to Move in a little closer. Yep, I see something yellow by that mossy stump. Shit, that looks like a yellow chanterelle. Let's see. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Oh well. The weather's getting really crappy, so we're going to have to call an end to this hunt. We're going to have to hunker down inside for a while. It's kind of disappointing, but you can't control the elements. Well, I didn't find what I wanted, but I did make this hunt happen. I'm going to head back to the house and get that guide out. Okay. I thought I saw some bear shit out there. Usually, when I go out in the woods, I grab my bear spray, but it's winter time, so the bears are hibernating. I don't need to worry about that. Yeah, so 
we don't have a lot of workspace in this little tiny house, so Tyler's got all his reloading things stashed here. All right, so let's go look at this guide. All That the Rain Promises and More by David Aurora, a hip pocket guide to Western mushrooms. I know that mushroom was some sort of chanterelle. It's a funny picture. It wasn't a yellow chanterelle. Yellow chanterelle has those really fine gills that kind of fade into the stem. And I think it might have been this yellow foot because it has these wider gills that stop and then you have this more of a yellow colored stem, also called the winter chanterelle. And it says, edible, not as meaty as other chanterelles, but with a good flavor, especially when dry sauteed. And that's what I was seeing mostly out there, I think. Um, but they were frozen. <laughs> Austin has to use that nice Velasca saw and remove all these limbs, and there's some serious limbs. Buddy, why are you whispering when he's crashing around, cutting those big old limbs down? You're gonna scare the pears away. The hunting videos that Tyler watches are sometimes a tad bit cliche and exaggerated. He doesn't do the bear hunting thing, so I don't even know if he could sit through this one. It gave me an idea, though. I do my own hunting video. 